Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be taking out the F-15 versus the Su-27 flanker. Make sure to join the Discord and subscribe to the channel to feature in these videos. We do need a lot of sim and RB pilots for them. Now we are joined by Sukhoi. He will be flying the flanker. Go check out his channel. Description will have that link there. And today we'll be teaching you how to counter the flanker uh, maneuverability and jets that have high AOA. There's ways to counter them. Today we'll be showing you how. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. God bless and let's get into it. Alright, so we got a dogfight, F-15 versus the Su-27 flanker, ACM close range, guns, IR, all the sorts, all the fun stuff. We're going to be trying it out and uh, see how it goes. So we'll go for the merge, obviously. My goal is to not go one circle, by all means possible, and um, if he does force this one circle... I'm just gonna turn the other way. Snow taught me to do that <laughs> when I was fighting him in this thing. All right, let's see, where's he going? All right, looks like we got a two circle going. This is good. I'd like to gain separation from him as best as possible. Don't want to black out either. GG, yeah, these, these 9Ms, you can't see them, so... Especially in Sim, it's really hard to see them. I mean, you get markers in RB, but Sim, you do not. Anyway, GG. Yeah, basically, when you merge with a flanker, you want to get space from it if you're in a fighter that can't, you know, do the one circle really well, and the F-15's one of those. You know, if you're in a grip in maybe an F-16, maybe, even though that's really a two-fighter, or a two-circle fighter, uh, you could try the one circle. But uh, for the F-15, in my personal opinion, it's just best to always go two-circle. Try to extend. Um, he does have R-73s, but just pre-flare. You know? Alright, so see. We're going to go the other way. And pull here. And we're going to start flaring. Alright, we're going to keep pulling here. Keep pulling. Going 400 knots. We're going to let off the stick so we can gain some speed. And basically keep this pull. Alright, now we're gaining some more speed. We can pull into that circle a little better. Oh crap. Come on. Cool bird. You can see we're sort of raiding around in the circle right here. Slightly. Come on, bird. Burn those engines. There are fox two there. And you can see here he's trying to get that close range. He pulled a lot of AOA there, which bled a lot of his speed. So we're just going to keep this rate fight up. There we go. Right around, right around. Oh no, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing maneuver. Come on, get the nose on. There we go. <laughs> oh, flare, 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 flare. Oh, that was close. Always flare when you kill the flanker. Because he could just lock you and launch that R-73. Anyway, GG. As I was saying, you know, I've seen some very textbook rate fights, especially with the F-5. I used to rate fight in that thing all the time. But the F-15, I kind of screwed up there. I was like, oh, I have enough speed to pull into the circle and gun him. Luckily, I got lucky, but... Um, I would not do that with a flanker. Wait till you get a sure shot, you know, be patient, then kill him. Because if he pulled AOA in certain directions, I would have overshot. I almost overshot there, but luckily I was able to get nose on. Alright. Okay, he wants to go one circle. Two circle. Oh, he's going vertical. Crap, this ain't good. He's turning around quick. We're going to keep this into a two circle here. Dive down a little bit. We want to get this to the deck. All right, we're going to gain more speed here. There we go. Now we're transitioning into right fight, although I do need more speed. 
Preferably it would be nice to have some more speed here. As he is getting those on. Oh no. Oh no. That is not good. Alright, he's getting a little slower. So we can raid around this circle a little better. We need to watch our countermeasures. Watch his guns. Come on, bird. Doing a horrible job at this ray fight. I need to gain more speed. But I don't want to get him launching missiles at me. He might be out of missiles. I think he brought two, maybe. Could be wrong. Alright, yeah, let's get to 400 knots. 300. You see we're slowly starting to raid around here. We need to get to a higher speed, though. Because he has to pull, keep pulling, otherwise um, I'll get on his six. So, and the more he pulls, the more AOA, the more he turns into a giant air brake. So, uh, there is ways to get out of something like this, like, of course, using the R-73. But also, you can uh, go vertical and hope the F-15 overshoots. Like, he might be able to cause an overshoot here. I'm just going to climb higher than him because I think he knows what I'm doing here. Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's... I'm going to go for the kill. There we go. That damaged him pretty good there. I don't think he's coming out of that. The flare. Yep, GG. Yeah, you can see the F-15 does outrate the flanker. Now, granted, he didn't... I don't think he had enough R-73s. If he had more, he could have killed me, but... Luckily, they missed, and, uh... We got a little lucky. Anyway, GG. But yeah, you could see, like, the flanker, it's a very... Peculiar aircraft, because... It could pull a lot of AOA, but when it does that, it bleeds a lot of speed. And when you're fighting a jet like the F-15, which is great at retaining energy and obtaining energy, uh, you have to be careful. Because speed, despite what some people think, speed can help you actually turn better in certain circumstances. Uh, for example, the rate fight. That wasn't a textbook rate fight. I've seen better. Uh, <laughs> I've seen a lot better. 